Hello. My name is Alan Berger. I have the privilege of serving as dean here at the Augustana campus of the University of Alberta. You know, I'm not just a dean, I'm not just an educator, I'm also a parent. And as an educator and a parent, three facts about universities have become apparent to me. First of all, a university education is really important. Secondly, it's a significant investment for families. And thirdly, graduation matters. Graduation matters because it sets students up for lifetime success. So we need to ask, what determines students' success in university? What are the predictors of students' success? Well, you might think it matters whether mom or dad had a university education because that is important in shaping the environment in which Johnny or Susie, their son or daughter, grows up. You might think family wealth matters because wealth provides all kinds of opportunities for young people as they grow up. You might think high school grades matter. The higher the grade point average, the greater the likelihood of graduation from university. And to some extent, all of those things do matter. Students who arrive in university with the advantage of mom and dad having attended themselves, students who arrive in university with the advantage of family wealth, students who arrive in university who have already been successful in high school are more likely to be successful at university. But none of those are as strong a predictor of graduation from university as a successful first term. The best predictor of student success in university is a successful first term. And the best predictor of a successful first term is a successful adjustment to university life in the first several weeks at university. Here at Augustana, that research has spoken powerfully to all of us. It led us to create, several years ago, what we call an early feedback system for students. Here's how the early feedback system works. Every faculty member at Augustana has agreed to provide students written evaluative feedback during the first several weeks of the term. And with that written evaluative feedback, we're able to identify students who are struggling. And we're able to identify them very early, and we're able to take action to assist those students and to invest in their success. Next year, we're going to launch a second initiative to invest in the quality of the experience that first-year students have and to invest in their success. This new initiative is the development of a first-year seminar. George Koo, a faculty member at Indiana University in the United States, calls first-year seminars a high-impact practice. They're a high-impact practice because they not only increase retention rates at university, in other words, students are more likely to stay, they increase rates of student engagement with their own learning, and as a result, they also increase graduation rates. Now, there are other high-impact practices. Research shows 
that community-based learning is a high-impact practice. It increases retention, it increases engagement and graduation. So too do undergraduate research, internships for students, capstone courses, collaborative assignments and projects, and writing intensive courses. All of those are high impact practices. And I'm proud to say we value all of them, we practice all of them here at Augustana. And next year, we will be launching what I believe is perhaps the most important high impact practice because it targets those first weeks of university life. And that's a first year seminar. Our first year seminars at Augustana will each top out at 25 students. The first year seminar is not a large lecture course. It's a class where students have an opportunity to form a close and meaningful relationship with a faculty mentor. The first year seminar is also a demanding course where faculty members are setting high expectations but providing the levels of support that will enable students to achieve at those high levels. The first year seminars are not lecture style courses, they're discussion based courses. They emphasize reading, they emphasize writing, they emphasize student participation in their own education. In many ways, the first year seminars are very much like upper level classes at other universities and upper level classes here. The difference is we want to provide that kind of discussion based small class opportunity for students in their first course at university. And we want to help them realize how university is different from high school, how the demands are different, but how exciting those differences can also be. So here are the goals for our new first year seminars. First of all, we want to focus on student engagement. We want students to be engaged with their own learning, not passive recipients of faculty teaching. We want them to be full partners in their own learning. We want to empower students. In other words, we want them to discover their own voice. We want them to realize that they have many things that they themselves can contribute in their classes that their experiences, their life experiences matter. Thirdly, we want to challenge students. First year seminars aren't Mickey Mouse courses. First year seminars are highly demanding courses. Students need to recognize how they will be challenged at university, but they also need to realize they can meet those challenges. And that's where support comes in as I previously mentioned. Support from instructors and supports from many other units on campus, such as the Augustana Writing Center. Lastly, what first year seminars will do is prepare students for a rich academic career. Academics at Augustana for all undergraduates are not just about taking classes. Academics are about preparing a rich array of opportunities, undergraduate research opportunities, community service learning, international travel opportunities, internships, et cetera. And we need to get students thinking expansively about their own education, and that too is a goal of, of first year seminars, to help students think expansively, to help them discover who they are, to help them discover where their passions lie. But here's something that first year seminars are not. 
First-year seminars are not survey courses. First-year seminars are not textbook-based courses. First-year seminars involve students in in-depth reading, in-depth discussion, and focused topics. And each of our faculty who will be teaching a first-year seminar will be teaching a unique topic chosen by them as an opportunity to share a passion, to share a passion that they have with students in a manner that we hope will be infectious. And the topics are really interesting. Here are just a few examples. A first year seminar on zombies. Zombies are everywhere, the instructor for this course writes, in popular film, in television, and in literature. This course will examine the history of zombies and their prevalence and significance in contemporary culture. Considering everything from film to fiction, from music to psychology, from science to satire. That description tells you another thing about our first year seminars. They're all interdisciplinary. They bring together knowledge from many disciplines, thereby helping students get a sense of the array of possibilities that exist at the university, but also helping students recognize that all the disciplines have contributions to make in their learning and contributions to make as we analyze the possibilities, the challenges in our world today. Here's the second seminar topic. This faculty member who happens to come from chemistry is planning a first year seminar on the topic of drugs. Drugs, he writes, conjure many different images, addiction, abuse, crime, but also medical success in fighting serious disease. This course, he writes, will use ideas from biology, chemistry, pharmacology, physiology, history, and sociology to explore the many roles that drugs play, both in our individual health, in societal health, but also in difficult societal problems. Finally, a third example to help you see the diversity of topics in first year seminars. Using the process of reminiscence theater, this faculty member writes, for a course that is entitled The Time of Our Lives, students will create an oral history of a specific place and time through their interaction with a target pool of senior citizens right here in Camrose, Alberta. And utilizing their interviews, primary and secondary research, the class will be guided through the process of creating a theatrical event with the end goal of performing their completed production for these very same senior citizens. Those are just three examples of first year seminars at Augustana. Next year, we will have 15 new first year seminars each as different from the others as the three I've mentioned are from each other. The first year seminars will be the first course experience that new students have. It will fill the three week block term in September. And for those three weeks, it will be the only class that students take. In addition to learning in the classroom, Students will have opportunities to learn about other resources available to them on campus, from our library, to our writing center, to our academic advisors. Our goal is to ensure through these seminars that every student has an exciting start 
to his or her university career and a successful start. And if you'd like to learn more about our first year seminar program, please contact our prospective student office. Their contact information is here on the webpage.